Hey there. Welcome back. Now, if you're watching this video, you are prepared to hear spoilers about Wolverine. If you're not, get the then you should get the fuck out of here. You go. <laughs> get out your fucking room. So anyway, we're going to talk about Wolverine now. I think. I'm going to try. So, um, we're not going to do what we normally do, where we've decided that talking about the movie from start to finish is kind of almost redundant, so... Um, we're going to talk about things we find interesting yeah. and leave the rest of it out. We, you know, if you... <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Wolverine. We thought it was okay. Yep. We're gonna talk about you know some of the shit happened and whether we liked it or not and all that. So let's do that. So I liked the uh, the scene, the opening, like the, the, the opening stuff. stuff. Yeah, yeah. that well, was pretty awesome. It reminded me of the same as like the only part I liked in Wolverine Origins, which was the opening montage of him, yeah. him and Sabretooth going through like all the different time. Yeah. Uh, and it felt like so, this or, like would have tied in perfectly with that opening. Yeah, I think. yeah. Because like that—that's kind of what I want from a, like an origin story. Is like I, I would like to see some of the stuff from when he was like a kid and like yeah. developing his power. As opposed to like you know one two minute scene of when he's a kid. It's like oh my god, he got claws. Then he went around with saber tooth. Here's a montage over the credits, and now the movie's shit. Yeah, yeah but yeah, the, um, the the nuke and everything was really cool. Uh, the parts where he would see Jean like in his head and talk to her and everything, it it really seemed to work with with him and how he was all messed up and like he's literally living in a cave in the woods in northern Canada to start yeah. a movie. Hanging out with bears. <laughs> he's got like crazy long hair and like a beard. Yep. Listens to his radio and just kind of minds yep. his own business. And Marks his territory with, you know, his yeah, claws. The and <laughs> yeah, the bear, like, had marked a tree, so he goes by, he's like, claws, my tree! Looks at the bear, the bear's like, rawr, rawr, rawr. <laughs> And then the stump. And then the, the confrontation in the bar, like, you know, yeah. he, he uses, like, he's been, like, struggling with Jean, and yeah. he had promised her in his Basically, his, his that, only friend at this point was yeah, the bear. The bear. And the bear had been killed by a hunter, so he goes, I was like, fucking hunters. Poison this and just left it to die. Oh, I'm gonna get you. Yeah, you fucking assholes. I'm sorry, Gene. He's just about to, like, toss his claws into him. Yep, when a small Asian girl stops him. She's like, they're not worth it. Also, like... They're gonna die in a week. Die soon anyway. In the same vehicle, don't worry about it, yeah. Turns out that she works for the guy who he'd saved back in World War II, and so now he was he, he's dying, and he wants to, like, thank Wolverine. And, like, you know, say goodbye to him for, for saving his life and everything. But not really. Yeah, that's not really. <laughs> he wants his power. Yeah. He's just like, I, I don't want to die. I want to live yeah. forever. Yeah. And you he's, don't. So, he's hey, we win. head of this, like, giant tech firm, which has made technology to, like, drill into Wolverine's marrow and then suck his mutant healing factor out and put it in someone. Because really that doesn't stupid. make sense It at is all. really stupid, but... It's not any more stupid than, like, the end of the first X-Men movie. <laughs> Had they just gone with, like, MAGIC! It's like, okay, sure. That would be better. But here, like, TECHNOLOGY! It's like, no. We're trying to put a scientific explanation to shit because we mm. don't want it. It just makes things worse. Uh, the whole thing with him losing his healing factor... And he clearly hadn't lost it completely, because while he wasn't healing or keep bleeding, he, you know, like, yeah, he's been shot three times. That doesn't stop him from running around and fighting people on the roof of a train. <laughs> well, I think that, like, he still got his adamantium skeleton, right? So I'm pretty mm. sure the bullets are just hitting his yeah, bones. Yeah, they'll go through, yeah. Yeah, and they're just, like, fucking stopping because it's adamantium. But still, you know, getting, but, yeah. getting shot several times should and be enough to He's not used to this. He's <laughs> just like, I'm used to getting hurt a lot, so I guess he's got, like, a high pain tolerance. Mm. But he's still getting shot. <laughs> like, he's got, like, three or four bullet wounds... And, like, big giant cuts and stuff on him. And, and he's just bleeding. It's like, uh, I'm probably just standing out in the rain. And he just, like, looks down. And there's, like, obviously, like, just blood, like, pouring off of his shoes. He's like, hmm. Thump. <laughs> <laughs> and it was funny because, like, he, like, wakes up. And he's, like, in the basement. And, like, yeah. the, the person that owns the hotel, our son's, like, a veterinarian student. student? <laughs> <laughs> so, so he starts to, like, goes to, like, shake the kid's hand. And he goes, like, oh, no, okay. Okay, uh, it's uh, like you, you might, you might have cut times. him a few times in, in your sleep while he was sewing you up, and the guy's got like these like bandages all over his arms. Yeah. <laughs> and also, like his healing factor wasn't completely gone because uh, his claws didn't yeah. leave holes. Well, there was lots of little 
little things like yeah. that that didn't really make sense. But whatever. Mm -hmm. It's Wolverine. Overall, it, it was good. Like the whole story, him and like finding redemption, wanting to actually be a hero again after having killed Gene, it worked well. The ending was really stupid, but. Yeah, giant adamantium samurai mm -hmm. suit. Yep. For sick person. Yep. It, they, you know, because it turned out, because early on you think that the old guy died. Apparently he hadn't died. He was secretly working with the head of Hydra, except that Hydra's never mentioned in it. She's just someone with poison powers. And 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 all the ninjas and everything. It, but it made no sense, because as you go through, you find out that the person who's trying to kill her is her father, because her father found out that when they read her grandfather's will, she's going to be put in charge instead of him. He's like, I worked the entire, my whole life to get this company. Fuck you, I'll kill you. And it's like, that's your daughter, you're insane. And then we find out later, I was like, my grandfather's not really dead. He set this whole thing up because he just wants Wolverine's powers. He wants to be immortal. He was never going to give control of the company to his granddaughter. And I don't know why he, why he went through this very elaborate thing. Because you'd think, like, when he first brought Wolverine in and talked to Wolverine, he could have had, like, okay, security, grab him and, and you know, do the thing, take his powers away and put in right away. As opposed to, okay, now I'll fake my death for like a week. And then you'll try have the ninjas hunt him down, bring him here, and we'll extract his healing power out of his claws. Because apparently that is the only way, is cut off his claws and then suck the marrow out of his claw bones. Yeah, because you can't cut off his arm. <laughs> also, with, with that um, adamantium silver samurai robot suit, like it's adamantium. How is it cutting his adamantium? Well, no, I was like heated adamantium, I guess. I yeah, can see, I guess. Maybe. But no, the part at the end, when he just like rips the chest plate off, it's like, you, how did you... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he starts like tearing parts off of it. <laughs> yeah. I'm just like, I'm going to let it slide. I'm just, I, was, I just didn't want to think about it. I was like, okay, he's going to kill him, whatever. It's like, why wouldn't Wolverine like just skip that part? He's like, just, his head's there. He's like, mm. There, bone claw your face, motherfucker. Yeah. But whatever. Anyway, um, the fight scenes were pretty fun. Yukio got some good ones. She was actually... Mm. She was a far better sidekick in continuing the thing of Wolver all Wolverine sidekicks are young girls. But she was way better than Rogue in the movies ever was. Yeah. Rogue in the movies is horrible. Um, and, sh you know, she's actually... Like, she's actually got some pretty cool stuff going along with it, right? So, yep. yeah. like She's awesome. just like a really well-trained martial artist who happens to have the mutant power to know when you're going to die. The uh, surgery scene was stupid, but anytime you get like a dramatic action surgery scene, it usually ends up being dumb. Even I'm Prometheus and people like, gonna cut my usually love the Prometheus one, and it's like, that was so stupid. I did love the fact that he's just like, whatever, just reach it into my... He's like watching like an x-ray, like a live x-ray, like, yeah. reach it into my chest, gotta pull this... Robot off of my heart that's stopping my healing power. <laughs> so it's science. <laughs> Until the last 20 minutes, it was a solid, like, you know, kind of almost more of just like a crime mystery story that happened to Star yeah. Wolverine. And he's vulnerable. He doesn't have his healing powers for the most part for the, yeah. like, for ha like yeah. half the movie. And it was, it was fun. Yeah. It was, it was good. The ending, it got really dumb, really, really dumb, but that's every X-Men movie pretty much. So, what are you going to do? I liked it when uh, Wolverine tricked the guy on the train. <laughs> he's just like, look, like they're, they're basically having to like jump over things that are coming over on the top of the train. And Wolverine just like looks up and he's like, Ooh, and he just like fakes to jump and the other guy just jumps into shit. <laughs> this is one of those movies where you see Wolverine's claws going into guys and it's almost like in, um, um, in White House Down with the minigun part. Yeah, like, you just, like, it's always from an angle where you don't actually see the claws go in. There was, like, one time where you saw an exit poke, but there was, like, no blood ever from any of this. Yeah. Like, I get it, but it's like, can you not, could you not put blood in a PG-13 movie, like, at all or something? Yeah, because that... Because, I mean... Because, really... You can okay. say shit as many times as you want in a PG-13 movie. You can say fuck once. They said fuck once. But apparently blood, that's... No... That's bad. You know what? That I think that's wrong because it teaches kids that are watching the movie that when you cut, get cut, you're not bleeding. Yeah. It's like that's not. No. No. Like it doesn't have to be like Quentin Tarantino levels of blood going on, 
but there should be at least something, like at least like a bit of red. Yeah, like bloodstained clothes or yeah, something. Yeah, plus, I mean, then you could like you could have like a cool like you know like shot of like Wolverine just like yelling in slow motion with like a like series of blood drips off his claws from the person. And stuff yeah. Like that. Or if you cool. like go for like the cutting off of limbs, you could just do shadow silhouette stuff. Yeah, like you don't have to do like you don't have to do epic gore, but you should at least show something. Because like, it's Wolverine, he's brutal. Yeah. He's a, he's a killing machine. <laughs> like. I mean, they show blood on Wolverine. Yeah. That's fine, but not on the bad guys. That would be wrong. Bad guys, if they don't bleed. <laughs> oh, I, I think there should have been more Wolverine fighting ninjas, as opposed to Wolverine fighting Yakuza through most of it. Yeah. I think that would have been more entertaining. Instead of the stupid arrows bullshit that mm. went on. I'm just like... I think it would have been great if, like, at one point he's just like, Oh, so many arrows with ropes. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just keeps running with all his arrows in him. But no, it's just... Uh, or like cuts some of them and then like pulls the other the ninjas Jesus. off the roofs. That would have been great. Not really anything else. Not really. It's like nothing really worth noting. Yeah, like there's... All of the dumb is very condensed at the end. The rest of it is like, you know, there's good action scenes, there's some good drama, it's well paced. It's like, there's, there's, there's stuff that's like, you know, just above subpar, like just above, like I guess par rather, and then it just drops to the bottom. Yeah, like there's not even any like I mean, a lot of the old X Men movies they had some pretty, pretty bad lines throughout the whole things. This one, like honestly, like yeah, the, the script was fine. Yeah, the whole felt well, the dialogue was fine. That yeah, it was just <laughs> Mariko was a well fleshed out character. Um, mm -hmm. Yukio, honestly, I think the character work in this was, like, significantly better than Man of Steel. Well, As a whole, it was not a better movie than Man of Steel, but the actual character work, like, for a superhero movie, it's... It's pretty good. Yeah. And especially a character that's already been in, like, five movies. Yeah, to actually finally get something done, as opposed to just whatever, you know him, he's cutting stuff. Yeah. Because Origins was just... Yeah, like, it, this actually felt like they were generally trying to do a good story with Wolverine. Yeah. As opposed to just making another Wolverine money to, movie to make money. Like, they still showed some of his past, but, like, that's... That, I got more from that little bit from the movie than I did from the whole movie of Origins. In the Origins comic, like, it's... Sh it, the whole thing is, yeah, him as a kid. Yeah. Or him as a very young adult afterwards in this, like, second half of the thing. Like, you'd think that... I, I don't understand why they wouldn't go with that, because that's much more interesting to mm. see, like, the well, kind of stuff that he... you can't went... have Hugh Jackman. <laughs> Gotta have some kid. Yeah. But that's fine. Mm. Yeah. Like, like... Well, that's... Like, I, I really liked First Class, but my biggest problem is that, like... Why aren't, like, I mean, even if the the timeline of the 60s versus, you know, the, like, it seemed in the first movie that it was probably, like, the late 80s or early 90s when he started Xavier's school, so it seems weird that this thing was happening in the 60s, but whatever. But still, like, shouldn't it have been, like, a young Cyclops and a young Storm and a young Jean, as opposed to a whole bunch of people who you haven't heard of, and also Hank, who didn't seem to know them until the third movie? And, like... The fact that it's not a reboot and is somehow the same Continuity, universe yeah. se seems really weird. Like, I don't know how they're going to work that out. I know how they're going to work it out. Science. Yeah. Magic science. Magic. Yeah. Well, speaking of that, there's the after the credits thing. Yeah. Which is uh, Magneto and, and Professor X show up. <laughs> and it's great because last time we saw Professor X, he was atomized by Jean Grey and then awoke in, like, that, that brain-dead person at the very end of, uh, of uh, The Last Stand. So he shouldn't be, you know, Patrick Stewart anymore. He should be no. someone else. But he's Patrick Stewart. And it's great. Wolverine's like, ha, what? What's going on? He's like, oh, I'm, you're not the only one with gifts. It's like, that's, that's what you're giving me? That's, that's like when Hicks just rushed over how he was alive in Aliens Colonial Marines. Like, ah, this is a long story. Yeah, that's a cop out. Uh, unless, unless, like it's it's all just him putting the image of his old yeah, self in Wolverine's mind. It could be. He is all psychic and everything. Yeah. Maybe. Hmm. 
And he's uh, just like off in the coma still. Yeah, I just I, I also do like that they've gotten to in the future it's back to Magneto and and Xavier are actual friends, you know, working side by side again. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. Um it's a good setup. I like that we'll actually finally for the first time ever see Sentinels. Yep. Finally. Um is in Ellen the is Ellen Page coming back? Yep. Okay, cool. It seems like a promising It does. It seems like Premise. It seems like it can be a clusterfuck just from having so much, like the yeah. two timelines and traveling between them, and you've got Peter Dinklage making Sentinels and all. Like it seems like a lot. Like unless it's a three and a half hour movie, but I don't know. It's, it it There's seems hope. promising. Yeah. yeah, it seems like it could actually be a good X Men movie. There's also a lot that could go wrong though. Mm. So that's yes, we'll see. Yeah. There you have it. That's our spoiler conversation for Wolverine. Hopefully you enjoyed it. So if you did, hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment if you agree or disagree with what we had to say. Uh, I'm Matt. This is Jerva, the Busted Coach, and we'll see you next time.